Right then. I suppose it's now time for us to go and see Mr. Brawl. How's it going, my lemony disciples? I am Grandmaster Lemon, and... How was your Christmas? Did you have a good Christmas? I had an alright Christmas. It was stressful as fuck, but it was an alright Christmas. Sorry I didn't make a Christmas video, but, um... Yeah, didn't have the time, or the energy, or actually the computer capabilities for it, period, uh, whatsoever. Um, but anyway, I'll... Well, there we are, Brawl. Um, I'll get to that at a more sort of lulled and, and subdued section of the thing. Just know, there's not going to be any fallout this week. Um, but... We have a Brawl here, let's talk to Brawl. Hello, neighbor. I understand we have you to thank for dispensing with some would-be looters. So, thank you. Um... I was expecting you to be a Nord, to be honest. Alright then. Um... Anyway, um... Do you, know way, do you know a way out of here? What's the big spinning orb above us? It's a fair question, I guess. That is the sun under the ground. Or at least that's how it's referred to in the dwarven decks we've managed to translate. Ah, I must fair confess, enough. I haven't the faintest idea of how it works. But it seems to be giving us light and allowing us to grow crops, even under the ground. Huh. Of course, if it ever stops glowing, for whatever reason, we'll all be in quite a lot of trouble. But don't concern yourself with such dark thoughts. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> I get it, because there wouldn't be any light. You're, you're a funny man. Um, do you know anything about time travel? Time travel? You know, as it happens, I do. It was a great obsession of mine for years after... After my wife passed. Ooh. I thought if I could go back, I... Ah. I gave up on that idea a long time ago. But recently, the Jarl has asked to see my research notes. Hmm. How strange that you should now take an interest too. Huh. Can I well. ask what the nature of your interest is in this unusual subject? Well, it's certainly not about my dead wife, although, you know, that is uh, a thing. But it's, uh, yeah, I've traveled here from the future and I want to go back. Uh, I, uh, <laughs> I don't quite know what to say to that. How can I put this charitably? Perhaps you're tired and emotional and need some rest. <laughs> I always enjoy discussing my theories. Oh, for fuck's sake, stop mind. jumping up and down. So I'll humor you. What did you want to ask? Uh, if you traveled to the past, how would you return to the present? For argument's sake, if you found yourself in that position, you'd have only two options. To live out your days in the past, <coughs> or force a paradox. A mm -hmm. paradox, oh, you see, shit. would involve changing the past so as to prevent the events which caused you to travel back in time in the first place. But I see. you'd be taking a big risk by doing that. Who knows what the consequences would be? Mm -hmm. Some say that whatever you do, it will lead you right back to the future that took you back in time in the first place. An eternal loop, if you will. But me, uh, huh. I believe that creating a paradox should fling you back to your original time, having changed the past for you and everyone else. Hmm. So, how would I create a paradox? Well, let's say for argument's sake that you really have traveled here from the future. Argument's sake. You could create Funny. a paradox in a few different ways. Mm hmm. Essentially, you could do anything that would remove your means or motivation to return to the past. So, for example, you came here to achieve some goal. Achieving that goal would mean you will never have been motivated to come here. A paradox. Mm -hmm. Or, if the thing that allowed you to travel back in time is still here, as a past version of itself, you could simply destroy it, I suppose. That would mean, of course, that you will never have been able to travel back in time. Another paradox. But doing so could have terrible consequences. Mm. But if you really are from the future, as unlikely as that is, and true, telling me as that is, anybody else what happens next could have disastrous consequences too. Huh. I think it's best if we talk about something else. 
fair enough. Um, but, um, yeah. So, I, I could just solve the thing, or I could destroy the lake house, uh, to create a uh, paradox as well, if I wanted to, which, I don't know, I might, I don't know if there's a way to do that, but I might try that. Um, also, the, uh, the mod author actually, um, like, told me in the comments a thing, which is like, wow, that's fucking flattering as shit, um, but, uh, told me that asking if, uh, I know a way, if, uh, ask, bleh, asking if people know a way out of here is, uh, an interesting way to get some information, so I'm going to ask that. Now that's an interesting question. I personally don't know any way out, no. However, I have a theory. It's more of a hypothesis, really. Ah, there My you go. thinking is that if there was a way out of here, the dwarves who built this place must have known about it. Uh-huh. Ooh. All right. Uh, but the dwarves disappeared ages ago. True. But we can learn all sorts of things about them from what they left behind. Yep. Inscriptions, architecture, relics, statues. Mm hmm And while I've discovered many things here, there are some parts of the city I haven't been able to get to. Oh, really? I'm most interested in the palace, above the lake. Unfortunately, it's sealed up tight. Only one hmm. man ever managed to enter, and he never came out. That was Narnibus, and we haven't heard from him in years. Strange fellow. I believe he was looking for the secrets of the dwarves, too. Mm -hmm. If you could find a way in there, I'm sure it would tell us a great deal about this place. Who knows what secrets we could uncover. Uh-huh. Interesting. So, there's an abandoned palace, then. I... I think I saw Narnibus' name in the, th in, in the book. I might be mistaken. I should check that again. What's your story, though, Brawl? My story? What a strange question. You presuppose that my life is a simple linear sequence of events which can be summed up in a verbal narrative? Well, that's nonsense, of course. First, most of it was so long ago, I barely remember. Second, uh -huh. you would have to assume that the account I give you is biased heavily in my favor, and is therefore quite unreliable. Well, uh, and well. finally, my story is really much less interesting than this mysterious place. Now, do you have any sensible questions, or can I get back to work? I just wanted to know what you do and where you're from. Well, why didn't you say so? I researched dwarven history and technology, uh. and I'm originally from Kragenmoor in Morrowind. Huh. Any other questions? Uh, Jesus. I was looking for something a little bit more in-depth than that, you know, maybe like a story. Ah, uh, fuck it, whatever, you're, you're... Uh, uh, I guess we'll, I guess we'll never know what's, what the deal is with this. Strange Dark Elf. Um, what can you tell me about the laws here? Well, the dwarves who built this city left inscriptions in the Citadel, which translate to, The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. My research leads me to believe that if a single member of our community sins, it'll trigger an event, killing us all. Yeah, I fair enough. such an event occurred some years ago, which is why Metellus found the city littered with burnt corpses. But to yeah. this day, there are many questions we simply don't have access for. How is the Dwarf's Law still being enforced? How does it work? Mm -hmm. And we may never know. Probably some sort as of... As long as nobody attacks or steals from anybody else. Until we know more, we all need to be on our best behavior. Fair enough. Now I'll be going now. Very well. Come back if you think of any questions about something you discover. Will do, pal. Will do. Um, right. The Doors of Oblivion, Ancestors of the Dunmer, Books of Daedra. Uh, I'm just gonna head down here and see about things. Ooh, okay. I suppose it should only make sense that the, uh... 
that the um, historian mage person should have the uh, should have access to the sort of ruinsy catacombs sort of place. Not really catacombs, though. More, more just sort of ruins. Um, good for good for archaeology stuff. Um, so is that? I'm assuming that's the palace above the lake that Brawl was talking about. Um, yeah, yep, that'd be it. Um, so, there's gotta be a way up there, and I've got a feeling... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say, I've got a feeling it's through those uh, underground tunnels, but... No, that, 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 looks, that looks like it's my best bet. Um, that little door there. But, um, anyway... I am starting to get a little bit tired, so let's have a sleep and uh, hope that the sin was not committed uh, on this night. Oh boy. <sighs> All right. There's a quill and an inkwell. I'm, I'm just gonna take as many of those as I as I can and or feel like. Also, silverware. Silverware is always nice to have. There's a chest. It didn't say empty, Ooh, so there's stuff in it. Um, me, ah, nice. Good. Two-handed attacks. I can disenchant that, and I don't use conjuration, but that's got some. It's got some stuff on it that I could potentially want in my life. So there's that. Um, oh, oh, oh. Okay. So these all have access to the underground tunnels. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, and, the, oh, all right, okay, there is a bed, good. Um, let's go ahead and have a sleep then. Um, good eight hour sleep should do it. All right, I feel well rested, but I need food and water. All right, and there we are with that. All right then. Um, no, right. That's that requires a key. Never mind. And when I exit here, fingers crossed that we don't all get destroyed immediately. All right, sounds good. So let's go up there and see about that palace because I'd like to. I'd like to know a thing or two about this. Just sort of head on up here. Um, ah, the bandit Deglund. slayer. Good to see you. Hey, uh, what's your story, pal? My story. Well, my name is Deglund, and I'm a merchant. Yeah. What's people say to me? Deglund, they say. Deglund, why are you a merchant? They find it surprising because I'm such an honest and trustworthy person. <laughs> and sometimes you hear about your merchants who are, you know, dishonest. Yeah. Well, I say yeah, to those plenty people, of them. I'm not like them. My father used to say to me, Degland, you can't be like the others. You be a good boy. And I was, <laughs> my friend. I was not only just a good boy, I was the best boy. The best boy now, and the best merchant, with the best prices for you. Ah, uh, I see. Fair enough. Uh, I'll be going now. All right. See you again soon, my friend. Yeah, I'll have to. I'll have to see you at your at your shop at some point, maybe possibly. Um. However, all right, whose houses are these? Rastasia and. Oh, Jeshul, all right. That's the, uh, okay, yeah, that's the lady. It was, like, the Mara-based lady. Um, man. oh, also, let's read that book and see if I can find Nar Narnabus. Here we are, citizen arrival log. Nar oh, Narnabus, here we are. Ah, uh, yes, okay, deceased, with a question mark. Uh, city house lower circle, vacated. All right. Okay, he was he was a research assistant to Brawl, fair enough. Mm-hmm. 
So he's... Somewhere down there is his now empty house. Alright then, um... Abandoned palace. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, that... That... I want to say that was easy. I don't think this is the actual, um... The place, though, that... Brawl was on a... Oh, dear. Okay. Jesus, those have been stacked pretty high. Okay. Um... Are they all just filled with ragged robes? Nope, that one's got a skull in it. Also the skull. And bl bloody rags. Okay. Okay. Oh, I see. Mmm. Okay. Right. Um. Alright, so the... I I figured it wouldn't be that easy. Um. Oh wait, can I? Oh, is. Oh, are you making me do platforming, mod developer? Uh. It's, oh dear. Hey. Oh, you clever son of a bitch. Oh. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, I like that. Right, is that... Alright, that looks... I'm just gonna... Nope, alright, I can't keep climbing along here then. Fair enough. Ow. Um... Okay, that's really overly shiny. Immaculate door... Uh... Immune from... From radiation? Uh... What? Uh, excuse rate ex mm, what? Ra <coughs> uh, excuse me. Um, this this ain't no Fallout. And also, wow, what the fuck happened to the texture on that? That looks like absolute ass. Okay then, something went wrong there. But um, oh dear. Oh dear, alright. Um, apparently radiation is a thing now. Um. Okay. Oh shit! Oh dear, um. Okay, alright. That's a thing, you're a thing. Yeah! Oh, there's more of them. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Get... Get very dead. Please. Please, get all of the dead. God. Oh, no, 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 no. No stun locking for you. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Alright, just die. Please. Please die. Please. Please, for the love of all that is Jesus, die. Okay. Alright, they're dead. Um. Alright, just... Just... Steel swords. All right, just fine steel weapons. That is all. Okay, fair enough. Good, good on that. Um, another burnt corpse with bone meal. That's a useful thing. Uh, okay, okay. They're they're. Is that water just infinitely spawning them, or is it just sort of filled with them, or what? Yo, oh, Christ. Oh, by the nine. I'm so. All right. Nope. Never mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. Alright. Uh, nope. Anyone else? Anyone else in there? No? Okay. Uh, another burnt corpse. With more bone meal on it. Fair enough. I can hear you. Oh, Christ. Why did I- I thought that was, like, knee deep, or, po or possibly ankle deep, but no. No, now I'm drenched. Great, let's hope I don't find a cold place anywhere anytime soon. Because that's going to be a pretty bad time. Alright. Alright. 
so you're over there then, probably. <clears throat> is the assumption that I'm gonna make about that. Um, let's just put on a less horrible looking set as well, because... Oh wait, no, these are better anyway, never mind. I was gonna, I was gonna say, because... I've got light armor as well that's probably better, but no, no, it's not better. This is... <clears throat> this is pretty decent armor. Because, you know, I'm not actually at the stage where I can get dwarven uh, armor yet. Sort of, like, just naturally. Like, as a spawn or from crafting is what I mean by naturally. As I, It's not like... It's not like dwarven armor is, like, sort of a... A naturally occurring thing, like it just grows on trees or some shit. Um, just anyway. Um, yeah, this seems like a bad time. You're another thing, Narnabus. Narn, you're not Narnabus, are you? No, you're. Oh God. Oh, criminy lemony Christ! Just oh, oh no. Okay, all right. Oh, it's empty. It did say empty. Why am I dumb like that? Also, I have the capabilities to level up at the moment, so I'm gonna do that thing. Uh, uh let's go with health, I guess. All right. Um, what now? What next? What is the thing afterwards? Um... Alright. Uh, it'll probably be bow and arrow, because I've got some... I've got some stuff in two-handed. Uh, wings strike. Bashing with a bow staggers the target. Okay. Wait, doesn't it stagger them anyway, though? All right, then, and long shot. 10% uh, more damage for each 25. Yes! Yes, give me that. Um, oh, I've got three fucking... Per wow, Jesus, all right, then. Um, oh, right, dragon blood. Yeah, that's... Um, no, not dragon blood, though. Because I only got the one. I've just been saving up perks and not using them. All right, fair enough. Uh, weapon master. Uh, what's this? Great swords do 3% more damage... To targets affected by gnarly wounds or crushing blows. Uh, crushing blows and gnarly wounds. Oh, I okay, I see. Right, crushing blows is the warhammers one. Uh, gnarly wounds is the battle axes one. So this one makes okay. All right. Um. <clears throat> But yeah, I'm not gonna deal with that one. Uh, when you attack with a great sword, you gain one point of stamina for each four percent stamina you are missing. I mean, sure. Uh, what's this merciless one? Power attacks with two-handed weapons have a twenty-five percent chance to do fifty percent more damage. Unlocks decapitations. Yep, having that. And train fighter power is th yes, yes. I will, I will be taking that because stamina is quite useful uh, at the mom. Uh, right, burnt corpse. What have you got? Oh, you've got gold. I will take that off of you. Use that take all button. Right. Um, empty coffin. That's a different coffin from the rest of the coffins. Okay. Okay. That sound. This sounds like there's a lot of them. Also, there are bats living down there. Why are there bats living down here? Um. Oh dear. That's a lot of burnt horrors. That that is a vast amount of burnt horrors. My God. Okay. Take out the thing. Get out a sneak. Feed it to death. Feed it to death. Okay. There's another one. There's another one. Fish! All right, okay, and all right. Power attacks, very effective with my current perk system that I've got set up. Gonna quick save real quick.
Um, more? More? There's more, aren't there? Alright. Hold on, hold on, this music is loud. Um... Jesus, the music is loud. Why did it... Why did I ever have it that loud? Alright, hopefully now I can actually hear shit. Here we are! Ah! Boosh! Baboosh! Alright, okay, there's that. You're dead. Uh, who's next? Who's next? Here you are. Okay, what was that? You know what? Never mind. I don't want to know. I, I really would prefer to stay oblivious as to what you just spat at me. Obviously, it was some sort of blood, but I... Uh, uh. Alright. And... Boosh. Right, there's that. Anything else? Am I hearing my own footsteps, or am I hearing other people's footsteps? Doesn't sound like there's any more in here, so that's good. Alright. So this... This is a pointless diversion. Oh, wait, never mind. Necromancer's journal. Uh, alright. Is that... Oh, whoops. Oh, no! It's not voiced like the rest of them. Damn. Oh well. Um, well then, let's actually read it then. Curse it! The logbook containing all my experiments from the last three years has gone up in smoke after one of my subjects, flailing about, uh, flailing about clumsily as they do, knocked it into the fire. All those years of meticulous, painstaking work for nothing. There's no way I'm going through that again. I'll need to try something more creative if I'm going to get, uh, if I'm to get the dead to tell me the secrets of this place. Why did these people always die in waves several years apart? Why were they always burnt to death? What was killing them? I'm going to try to amplify my resurrection spell by tapping the strange dwarven energy source directly upstairs. Perhaps what will uh, perhaps that will loosen their tongues. Okay. So there's a dwarven energy source upstairs. Also a spell tome of Ray Zombie. Fair enough. Also, I'm warming up. Bats. It was bats. It sounded like big spikes coming out of holes, but it's bats. Also, I'm dry. Good. Okay, that's set up. Then black soul gem. Does it? Uh, that looks empty, right? That's empty. That's an empty soul gem. Yes. Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, fair enough. Uh, is there anything else that? Ooh, it's an ooh, apprentice. Uh, yeah, I, I've got five lockpicks left, but it's only an apprentice. I... Yeah, ah, shit. Who breaks a fucking lockpick on an apprentice lock anyway? God, I'm bad at this. Uh, alchemy, I don't use alchemy. And that's fairly heavy. That's fairly heavy. How... Oh, eh, it doesn't really matter at this point, though. Um, and that, and... Yeah, I could, I could, I could do with that. Um, right then, anything else? No? Nah. Alright. Um, what about over the... Stop! Please, you're making me upset. Uh, bone meal, good. Ah, shit. There we are. Okay. Uh, grab that. Fuck, uh... Jeez, there's so many dead things that they've had to stick coffins in between the shelves of coffins. That's... They don't even have enough room to store their coffins just the normal way. Wow, that... Alright then. That's... Ah, wow. Hey. Hey, Bond. Hey, Ionic Bond. How you doing? How you doing? Playing that team? Playing that Team Fortress too? Yeah, you liking it? You liking that? You liking that game? Playing that? Playing that spy? Playing playing that in invisible ass spy? Yeah, having fun with that. Anyway, um, so there's that diversion over. Then there was the th 
there was a way upstairs then as well. Oh, I'm out of stamina. Oh dear. Oh dear. I'm out of stamina and I definitely do still hear a thing. No, okay, all right. So that was over there then. All right, I'm good. I'm good. We're good. Um, this. Okay, no, that's... Is this back up then to where... Yeah, no, this is... All right, no. This, this is backwards, I think. This is the wrong direction. No, 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 no. Wait, maybe? Oh, jeez, I don't know, man. Um... Ah, shit. Great, I'm wet again. Lovely. Um... No, 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 no. I was going the right way. I was going the right way. <sighs> hate being wet so much. It's horrible. Um... Okay. Let's head back up then. Quick save as well. Okay. Head over. Ah, there you are! You kickle cock. Ew! Ew, your skin is gross. That is very gross skin. Um... I must stay! Sorry. Um... Oh, but yeah, alright, this is... I don't know, this feels sort of lulled at the moment. Um... So yeah, Christmas was alright for me. Um... I got a bunch of new computer parts... And... A graphics card that didn't work with Fallout 4. So then I... Uh, reinstalled the old graphics card... Onto a new motherboard. I also got a sound card as well now, so that's... Uh, that broke Audacity, <laughs> so I have no... No way of recording voiceover stuff anymore. Um, and... Right, I hear another thing. Uh, and... I still can't play Fallout 4, though, because I... While I put the old, uh, a, the, the old graphics card in, I didn't have the... I, ooh, master, right. I don't have the driver disc anymore, so I was installing the... Uh, I was, I was installing new... The, the old graphics card, but with new drivers. And the new drivers also don't work with Fallout 4. The old drivers do for some reason, which is fucking stupid, but the new ones don't, which is really the root of the first thing being fucking stupid. So, yeah. Alright, you, you... You, you, are the thing making the sounds. So I'm gonna fire a... Fire a couple shots at ya. Oh dear, I'm out of stamina. Oh shit, I'm out of stamina. Oh cock, I'm out of stamina. Right, 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 right. Just sort of... There we are. Is there another one? No, there isn't. No, alright, we're good. Um, but yeah, so now I'm completely unable to play Fallout 4, which means I can't uh, continue to, uh, to do this thing and... Uh, so, yeah, I'm not going... I've got a new graphics card coming that, uh, does work with Fallout 4, but, um, yeah, so, until that comes, I'm not gonna be able to play Fallout 4, which means I'm not gonna be able to record it, which means you're not gonna be getting, um, any episodes of it. However, the good news is, um, the, the new graphics card that I've got on the way, um is an NVIDIA card, and NVIDIA has, um, this thing, I, I can't, I can't remember, I can't quite remember the name of it, oh shit, you've got a sword! Oh, tits, alright, uh, and also, oh, tits, um, but anyway, ah, shit, okay, alright, got caught on a chair, we're all good, we're all good. F oh, you've got a sword as well, where did you get a sword from? No, 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 there we are. Okay, all right, that happened. Um. Okay, you've got armor. Your and spells. Okay, that's the wrong button. 
Okay, all right, that's bad. That's bad. That's real bad. That is significant badness happening. Right. Die. Ah, shit. Okay. All right. I can, I can, I can, I can deal with this though. I can deal with this. I think I have, I have the, the, the power. I have the power, right? Please tell me I have the power. I've got the power, right? I've got the power. I've got the power. I'm going. I'm going. I'm running. Okay. We're gone. I'm out. Uh, Jesus. Um, right. What was I on about? Oh yeah. So, Ah! Okay. The, uh, the new graphics card that I've got on the way is an NVIDIA thing, and NVIDIA has something I- SHIT! Oh, come on, man! Right- Oh, shit! It unequips my shouts! Okay, all right, okay, we're back, we're good, we're, we're, we're lemoning, we're lemoning these tits, we're- Holy fuck! <laughs> health, okay, health increase, and, and, and I need... Restoration, why the hell not? Um... Die! Just! Die, you kicklecock. Fuck, I'm very cold now. Great. Great. Alright, there's a fire over here, though. So, let's hope that that's supported. Let's hope that this fire is supported by the thing. Um. Okay, good. Oh, sh- whew. Anyway. Um. So. The new graphics card, on the way. <laughs> is an NVIDIA thing, and NVIDIA has, I think it's called Shadowcast, something like that, um, that essentially, um, is, it, it's, it's a recording thing that supposedly has, like, very minimal loss to, uh, like, to performance, so as much as NVIDIA are a bunch of massive cunts, um, and I really don't enjoy their sort of their their business practice of releasing a bunch of tools and then not making them open source to so that it's almost as though they're intentionally making uh games worse for AMD stuff as much as I'm not fond of that aspect of Nvidia um it would definitely be nice um, as a consumer, just, just from that sort of standpoint, not really making a statement about things or anything, but it would definitely be nice to have a way of recording, uh, of recording video games that doesn't have as, uh, uh, as much, uh, definitely is not as much of a performance hit as Fraps has, like, on Fallout 4, because you've seen the shit that that, ha that happens in those episodes, with, like, with framerate, and... That doesn't happen when I'm not recording. That's purely a recording issue. Um, so it would be nice to have something that's uh, a little bit less performance intensive. Um, but anyway... Back to the mod. Holy cock. And a big book. The Myth of the Dwarves' Law. And it, oh, it said empty. It said empty! Why do I not read things before I touch them? Um... Right, the myth of the dwarves' law. How long is this? So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, I can read nine pages. As per our custom, I will begin by paying my respects to the city's founders, the Dwemer. For their architecture and ingenuity, ubiquitous fonts of light and water, they deserve our admiration. But there, I but here I must depart from our custom, for their attempts at lawmaking, oppressive and overreaching, they deserve our contempt. How, uh, who among us has not awoken at night in a cold sweat, fearing some sort of accidental transgression of the dwarves' law? All of us must accept, after 
even a moment's reflection on human nature that we are all capable of error, whether from a momentary lapse in judgment brought by ill temper or a conscious decision based on faulty reason. But I am here today to tell you, friends and neighbors, that you need not be afraid, for the dwarves' law is a great deception, and I will prove it to you. Let me begin by dismissing each of the counter-arguments you may raise. First, you may argue that the dwarven inscriptions around the city are evidence of, that, uh, of the law. But that is logically unsound if we cannot be completely confident that our translations are accurate, with all due respect to our scholars. We believe they say, many will suffer for one's mistakes, but that shades, uh, but what shades of meaning are lost in translation? In any case, even if our translation is accurate, that, it, uh, that this message was inscribed does not make it true. Second, you may argue that the dwarves would not have committed their warnings to stone if they were not true. To that I say, the dwarves' warning may well have been true thousands of years ago when they built this city on rock and roll. Presumably, there were those responsible for forcing the law, uh, for enforcing the law, rather, who were vigilant and draconian in their pursuit of order. But the dwarves have long since disappeared. Surely, for the laws to be enforced, there would need to be someone watching over us. Do you not understand the, the way that the dwarves worked? They were all sort of automaton and, and they, they, they automated things. You're, you're dumb. You're real dumb. Um, I know many of you have felt as if you were being watched, as if these golden busts were somehow capable of seeing you. But ask yourself, even if these dwarven automatons were watching you, how would they play the role of judge? Surely no mere machine possesses the reason or the judgment necessary to enforce the laws of man. Well, it's not the laws of man, it's the laws of dwarves, so, you know, it's myrrh. So, you, uh, right there, you're wrong. But, fuck it, semantics. <coughs> In short... Without the instruments of justice, there can be no law. Third, you may argue that the tragedy that struck this city several years ago is evidence that the dwarves' law is real. You need not remind me of that. It was I who discovered their charred remains. It was I who collected them, placed them in a handcart, wheeled them into this palace, and laid them to rest in the tomb beneath us. I will not soon forget them, and yet, I refuse to leap to the conclusion that their deaths were brought on by breaking the Dwarves' law. There is simply no evidence to support that conclusion. Who is to say there was not simply an attack by some demented mage skilled in the art of destruction magic? Well, he'd probably still be there when you found him, and he wouldn't have been killed by burning he would have been killed by starvation. So, there's that. But ultimately, these arguments are just that, arguments. After years of living in fear, there is only one way for me to prove to you that the Dwarves' Law is a falsehood. Action. Friends, I apologize in advance for this, but one day you will see this moment as a turning point in our people's history. Let us see once and for all if the Dwarves' Law is real as I strike you down with my fist. Or as I strike one of you with my fist. Well. Can see how well that turned out, you dumb twat. Fucking scummy morons on this planet, really. All right. And here we are with, uh, apparently that Dwemer power source that the guy was talking about. Hey! Hey! What? Oh, radiate! Ah, ha 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 ha! Nuclear power! That's fun! Oh, that man had a, that man had a big, um... 
had a bunch of dwarven armor on him, didn't he? That was probably immaculate, like my, uh, like my gauntlets, weren't they? Or wasn't, wasn't it? Come on, where are you? Hurt horror. Shit, where did, oh shit, where did I kill you? Where did I kill you? Um, ah, here you are. Oh no, you've just got regular. <sighs> Fair enough. Um, so, ooh, master. Ooh. Um, ah, there's still stuff upstairs. All right, then. There's, uh, still more goodness to see. Mm hmm. Is that. Is that a barricade? Hmm. Somebody barricaded this. Now, I wonder what they were trying to keep out. Oh, okay. That burnt horror is dead before I got to it. Oh, no. That means there's probably something up here worse than burnt horrors. Yep. Okay, yep, oh, our, oh, oh dear. Brace yourselves. Oh, jeez. Some, some, pretty, pretty, pretty garden, though. This is a good garden, this is nice. Is that, oh, it's, it's a bit of glowing foliage there, but, I mean, yeah, it's other than that, it's nice. This is a good garden, this is a good garden. I like that garden, it's decent, it's good, it's nice. Um... Right, there's a door there. And there's a master gate there. Huh, yeah, not doing that. Uh, display case. And empty display case again. Right. The Forgotten City. Alright then, so this is presumably that little walkway then? That, uh, sort of... Sort of raised walkway above the lake? Yep, here we are. Here we are with that. Well, that's... That's nice. That's a good... That's a good view. It's a nice view. Um... Right, so there is... Is that a... There's a door up there, I thought I saw. Might be wrong, though. I was wrong, though. Um, and... Then there's this door back into the abandoned palace. All right. Oh, I'm I'm much higher up than I thought I was. I I thought I'd come out like sort of down there, but no. Nope, we're way up here. Fair enough. I guess uh, yeah, yeah, I, I, fair enough. I did go up several floors as opposed to just the one. Shut up. I'm a dummy. Okay, this is master locked. Uh-huh. And I've only got four lockpicks. That's not even slightly enough for a master lock. Right, okay, back out here then. Um, I guess there's a... There's that lead sort of gone. Um, fair enough. So what do I have for this then? Forget me, let's... All right, show the book to Brawl as proof that the Dwarves' Law is real. Oh, I've got a lot of optional stuff. Okay, um... There's a lot of things here. Uh, right. Let's turn these off. Uh, forget me not. Uh, bring some skooma to a sanshi. Identify the person most likely to destroy the city and inform Yarl Metellus. Talk to Habik about his missing ring. Uh, find a way back to my original timeline. Show the book to Brawl as proof that the, dwar that the Dwarves' Law is real. And talk to an expert about the immaculate Dwarven armor. Well, I have a feeling that the expert and Brawl are one and the same. So I'm going to head down here and uh, do that thing then.